What's up y'all, so for today's video, I will be cleaning these tire letters because these tire letters are looking white. They're not looking yellow. Well, you can actually tell them the damn camera they look white. They're like an off yellowish. So what I'm gonna use to clean them is what I find trusted and it works. Some dish liquid, brush set, I'll use these two. And I think I used these two, or maybe I used these two, I can't remember. But I used those, I got that from Harbor Freight for like two bucks and I went to the dollar store and got some alcohol. Turn mix up. those two in like a little bucket or something and then, oh wait, I got one more tool. Oh, oh. I got my damn card. And I also use this. So this is before. And let me clean it up and make it a nice after. So this is what a minute of cleaning you can't even tell but like this is like all white and this is more yellow you probably see like that better this is crazy <laughs> tell on camera the difference it made well maybe you can let's see the other side yeah you can't even tell the difference because it looks yellow well this side was definitely more yellow than the other side but it's a huge difference guys take my word for it it's a huge difference just take my word for it I promise Alright, so this is the finished product. Uh, I mean, hopefully you can see the yellow. It's really, trust me, it's, it's good. It's shiny. Hopefully you guys can see it. I think I'm going to start installing some of the interior pieces because, I mean, I still got a little daylight. So, well, hopefully. So, get that situated in the car. I'll probably throw in the cluster and stuff like that. But, uh, let's get to it. Alright, kick panel is on. Oh, man, now the carpet looks like a tannish. So I'm gonna do the GSR cluster swap now. This is the LS cluster. The GSR cluster goes to nine grand and LS go to eight. So now I'm gonna loosen the two top screws and take the bezel off and then uh, we'll get to this. You got one, two, and three screws to remove and your uh, cluster is out. And just like that, it comes out. You got a um, plug there, plug there, and a plug there, and then that's it. All right, new cluster is in. Really not a difference, but whatever. Let's get it all uh, screwed in. All done, and it's blue lights. That's pretty cool. It's better. Than, my red one is like bad over there, but it's not bad. But yep, it's all in. I'ma kick in the door, wave in the four four. Just put in the footrest thing. It's two 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, I don't know the size because I just pulled them random bolts. You're the next victim. You are the next victim. Let's put in that uh, carbon fiber uh, delete tray. Remove the negative terminal from the battery because you don't want the airbag exploding in your face and killing you. So this is what we're going to be installing here because that beige got to go, bro. And this is just clean. I really hope that. Um, I hope they understand that. I really understand that they don't understand. Now you're pumped with four uh, 10 millimeter bolts that holds your airbag in its place. You just want to remove the bolts and uh, we'll see from there because this is my first time doing this. So if I mess up, then obviously don't follow these steps, but uh, let's see. Okay, with all the bolts removed, you should just pop this up. It should just pop up. That's it. That's really how you do it.
I guess I do know some things. And the crazy thing about it, I didn't even like club integrity it or Honda Tech it. I just wanted to go at it and see if I can do it for myself. Now I know how to remove an airbag. Okay, so jumping ahead right now, I took out the old one and you guys can see how crust that is. And I didn't know this. Well, I didn't know it, but I forgot that this right here is carbon fiber. It come from my actual Type R. And then this one is now carbon fiber. Now, I don't know if this come from actual Type R, but uh, I don't know. But it's carbon fiber, it matches this, so that's pretty cool. List the little details. Now, as far as my delete tray, I'm, I'm just gonna put it in as it is, because as you guys can see, it has Velcro, and I don't have Velcro there yet. I gotta go buy the strips, but I'm too lazy right now. So, for the meantime, I'm just gonna put this in there like that. Oh, look how big this pimple is, bro. But I'm gonna get the Velcro strips tomorrow from like Harbor Freight or something, or Walmart, or whichever. So I'm gonna finish up putting in this uh, piece. Oh, crap. Oh no! This is for a right hand drive! No! Man, that is so bogus! It's for a right hand drive! <laughs> I'm in the process of just swapping over the uh, center console majigs. I don't know what the, I don't know the proper name of these. That's what I'm doing right now. I haven't filmed it because, I don't know, I'm running out of daylight as it is, so I'm trying to get it done. <laughs> Time to install my ripped up Type R shift boot. So the interior is getting back together. Um, I'm gonna install this thing now for the uh, trunk and the gas. The panel majig thing is on. Uh, I think I'm gonna wrap it up for today because it's getting um, dark and I can't see, but my carpet looks clean. You can't even see the flaws and the imperfections because that's how clean it is. It is clean. Yo, gotta keep it down because it's late at night. And I didn't close out the video earlier, so yeah. But before I close out the video, let's talk about the Xbox One giveaway I plan on doing. Now, if you don't know, hopefully now you know, well you should know if you keep watching the video, uh, I do plan on giving away an Xbox One. Um, and how I wanna do it, I don't wanna do it the standard way where like you gotta do a bunch of entries to get in. I wanna give it to someone who really needs it. Like I wanna give it to like a family or just someone who can't afford it. I mean, I wouldn't say afford it, but like, you know what I'm saying? I wanna do something nice for someone who really needs it. You know what I'm saying? Who can't get it in whatever the circumstance may be if you guys will could you please leave some suggestions down below on how i can do this giveaway i just want to give an xbox away to someone who really needs it you know what i'm saying not someone who already has one who wants another one but someone who really needs it who does not have one probably like a kid or something so if you could please leave down some suggestions below on how i can run this giveaway thank you Thank you. Catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you thought this video was dope in any way, shape, or form, if you enjoyed, if you laughed, well, we ain't really couldn't laugh because I ain't really doing it. But if you thought this video was cool, can you please leave a thumbs up on the video? Uh, the support lately has been amazing. Like, you guys don't even know the half of it. Thank you so much for showing support. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Damn, I think I broke it.